Hey, hello friends. So today what we are going to see is how to create a test bench file and uh, instead of writing here in the design, let's see how to use a test bench file. So creating a test bench file is relatively simple. Uh, you just copy. Okay, before this, let me explain a uh, few things. So let's take a look at this diagram. Uh, so here, if you see, this is our DUT or the design, whatever we have. If we create a test bench file, what in general formal we will try to do means we will uh, give, bind these inputs and outputs to this test bench. And uh, because these all are coming to the test bench as input, whatever we are going to use the signals in uh, test bench, will, we will consider all as input. Uh, you will understand what I am telling in a minute. But remember, uh, you can understand here, right? So from all these inputs from the design also is coming as an input to the test bench and the output is also coming as an input to the test bench. So all uh, the signals like A, B, C, D or the output, whatever we have, like finished state, I guess, for this particular design, all these things will be uh, as input to the test bench. And then the remaining thing is, uh, so whenever we have an input, we can write assumptions on it. Uh, if you don't want to write assumption, that is fine. Uh, maybe for some signal, uh, it can propagate on its own. You don't need to constrain it. So in case if your signal need to be constrained, then you need to write assumption. And whatever the outputs we have, we will be writing assertions on this. So that's all the overall idea of this DB. Uh, let's go back to this area. So uh, what I was trying to say is all these signals, whichever is coming from the design, this input logic and output logic will become as input to this design. So I'm copying this. I'll paste it here. And then I'll type in module. So here I have an output. This will become an input. And uh, apart from that, what we are going to do means we had these things in the below we will just copy all these properties until here copy this or let's cut this cut that and paste here so now what else we need is we had a, a state diagram here which was saying what is the current state and next state. We need that thing also here. So what we are going to do is we are going to just copy this and we will paste here. And we need one more thing which might be logic down to zero i will name that as current state because in all our uh, tb like while we were testing we were using this current state current state so in order to check so if i don't keep like this or change some name i need to edit this code here so just for that purpose i'm keeping the same name and uh, what we need to do is then we need to tie this signal to the design signal uh, this is called probing in general uh, what we will be doing is current state will be equal to uh, this is our FSM the top module name so FSM dot current state we will be writing like this so and apart from this one more thing what we need to do is there is a thing called bind statement so this bind statement is nothing but it will uh, connect the design um, design signals and uh, our side of the signal just uh, it, it will connect it basically uh, for in functional verification side you will be having something like dut dot and then we will include the dot of something right the same way here also we will have uh, here what are all the things we have is fsm uh, is our initially how you need to use this means bind and then the design uh, design name uh, that is fsm the top module name that is fsm and then the uh, TB name we will keep this as FSM SVA and uh, uh, FSM SVA we will write here also FSM SVA 
and in case if you have a parameter you need to write like this parameters here but uh, currently we don't have parameter so we are not giving anything and then we need to name some uh, thing to this so i am naming as fsm sva uh, dup something like this or tv whatever so after this we can just give dot star because all the names from there and here is same if not you need to give dot of uh, this module the outside module which is like the fsm module name and then here uh, whatever the probe you are connecting it to we need to type but this should work let's save this and uh, one more thing what you need to change from the previous to this is we are here having a tickle file so this is a deadlock fsm.sv which is already our design file and uh, this is our tb file so we need to include our tb file also uh, in the analyze statement and then you need to give elaborate top fsm create related covers or whatever we need to have and then you can test it so previously as i told uh, just before this thing whenever you create a tb file remember to use uh, assume statement on the inputs here on the inputs we have because our input should be either one heart number or zero so our inputs we are uh, using the assume statement to uh, write this and uh, when uh, the you need to write uh, definitely on the output signal here we have the finished output signals output check and because this is an fsm we need to check uh, whether it is propagating from state 0 to state 1 state 1 to state 2 state 2 to state 3 like that so for that this property will be used and i also gave this as a homework and uh, i have the uh, like like what to say i have a solution for that uh, which i will be attaching in this video but in case if you want to learn this this is how we will be doing that and let's go back here to our area uh, so we saved this so i have teached you in the previous video how to open this but in case if you are seeing new for the first time just remember you need to give jg and then the tickle file name and and uh, if you give that will be working i already opened this so i'm just rerunning this uh, let's see what it is giving an error it's telling uh, current state equal to fsm dot current state uh, here it is showing some error. Let's figure it out what it is happening. Mm. Okay, sorry. Here it is. Our state will be what I gave here. This is FSM only, so it should work. Let me check with my solution code. Did I doing anything wrong? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I had need to give assign. Um, I forgot to give that. That's the mistake. So because this is in the outside of uh, uh, like combinational block or always comb or always flip-flop block, we need to give assign statement. Uh, sorry, I forget that. Okay. Let's save this and rerun this. Okay, it's up and running. Let's click brew task. Uh, we can see that all these assertions are passing. And uh, in case if you want to verify how to check, let's say uh, we know from our uh, current design that this uh, we we have at least in our uh, design what means i had to write here keep output as finished state and it will be one only if it reach s3 which is like state 3 so this is our design says uh, that's how i designed it so basically in my assertion if we go back here you can observe in this finished state assertion what i wrote is if it is s0 then finished should be zero and if it is s1 finished should be one like this we had written let's change like uh, from s2 we will think 
uh, we will see whether finished became one or not so in case if we try to achieve this both uh, our uh, both our finished uh, both our assert and cover should fail uh, because cover will not be able to cover this because of the reason uh, it will not be uh, able to understand that um, and it's not possible also let's see that ah sorry brute ask it will try to prove everything yeah there is a failure we change the code uh, let's see what it is expecting in case if we see here in the assertion we told the finished should be high so it is telling it i am expecting it to be high but it is low uh, and in case if you want to understand why it is becoming like this you can click this add y signals then it will show from s0 to s1 it is showing the current state and then um, y if we click it will show uh, because of what this thing is happening uh, so we can analyze this using this and uh, as i told you the cover cannot be covered because according to our design finished state cannot be high when it is in s1 or s0 or s2 and in it so that's why it was failing and uh, this is how you need to create a test bench uh, i have attached like uh, i have written like multiple uh, assertions using the same method like where i used the same property in order to create multiple things uh, FSM stay we can check and then FSM output check, FSM state change we can check. Uh, these are multiple different kinds of assertion which you can um, work around and play. Uh, I am attaching these things uh, for you in the comment section which you can try. Uh, and that will be all. Uh, like I also uh, created an EDA playground link uh, where you can check where you can check this. So I will copy and paste this EDA playground link in the below. Uh, in case if you want, you can use this uh, for your studies. Thank you all. I hope this lesson will be helpful for you all. And uh, let's see in the part three. So what what is expected in the part three, right? So here I told there is a dead state in this FSM. And uh, in case if you have a dead state, how to verify this dead state is a question. This question we will answer in the next part. And uh, we, we can say that it went to S0 and then we can try like whether it is going from S1 to S2 or not. But the functionality doesn't even say that. So what in general in functional verification side or what as a verification engineer we will try to do. We will try to test the functionality. but when you are trying to test the functionality, I don't even need to write whether it is going from S0 to S1, S1 to S2. Uh, I don't need to write because it is telling from S1 to uh, uh, S1, it, sorry, S0 to S1 it will go and from S2 to S1 it will go, we had told. But we never told that uh, it need to come out of this, right? So it is not possible for us. We won't be checking this. So how to identify these dead states? Uh, there is a methodology within the formal verification tool which we will be understanding tomorrow uh, and we will be learning like how to do deadlock and live lock test in the next video and uh, thank you all we'll meet you in the next video bye have a good day